using the girl's body to make her an essence and then proceed him to extract the perfume, do you dare spray the perfume on her body? Today Harry introduces you to a horror film that has haunted many viewers but they couldn't stop watching, Perfume, the story of a murderer. In the 18th century, in one of Paris's slickest markets, a baby boy was born. The boy's first cries led the police to arrest his mother. They quickly took her to the gallows. The newborn baby was in dire straits. He was entrusted to Madame Gaillard, the head of the orphanage. He got an extremely sharp name, Jean-Baptiste Grenouille. With a natural talent, he quickly revealed his gift. At the age of five, still cannot speak but he can easily distinguish scent, wood, fruit, frog eggs at a distance of 40 meters. Whether it was a fishy smell or a fragrance, the boy memorized each of them. When Jean lived in the orphanage until the age of 13, Madame Gaillard sold him to a tanner. Hadn't been able to use the money, she was killed by bandits, becoming the second person to receive death because she wanted to throw Jean away. Although life in the canning factory was like a hell, Jean's vitality kept him alive. He was aware that the outside world still had other scents he had yet to find. In the future, he'd definitely go searching for them. At last, he got the chance to be sent on deliveries to Paris. With objects sent around, his sense was more satisfying than ever. He stopped in front of a shop, seeing girls apply scented liquid to their wrists. At that time, Jean finally knew that in the world there was something called perfume. As the man was looking at the store, a sudden scent struck him. He followed that scent on the street. Unexpectedly, the scent came from a girl selling almonds. The scent of her body radiated around her. She did not understand what happened, so she gave the almonds to Jean. He gripped her hand tightly like a treasure. His idiot-like appearance scared the girl to run away. But with her outstanding scent, Jean quickly found her whereabouts. He gulped down every smell of those scents. To avoid being caught by other people, he shut her mouth to prevent the girl from screaming. When he finally realized, the girl was already suffocated to death. Her body scent also faded away. That night, Jean was restless and unable to sleep. He suddenly realized the meaning of his life. He must learn to keep the scent. Once by chance, he got acquainted with Giuseppe, a perfume store owner. He showed off his talent, accurately restored the scent of the best-selling perfume. The moment he smelled that scent, Giuseppe felt like himself was sitting in a dreamlike flower garden. Without a doubt, Jean was such a rare talent for perfumes. Realizing this, Giuseppe paid a high price to redeem him and made him his disciple. However, the tanner was not so lucky. Holding such a large sum of money, he was thrown into the water and died there. The appearance of Jean had recovered Giuseppe's perfume shop, which had been failing for a while. Jean only saw money as dust. He just wanted to learn the mysterious technologies of perfumery. Giuseppe told Jean, each perfume contains three chords, the head, the heart, and the base, necessitating 12 notes in all. However, in order to create a truly new fragrance, it's imperative to add extra material. Legend says, an Egyptian perfume king, based on a 13-cent perfume, amazed the world's history. Under Jean's request, Giuseppe showed him the method of distillation, extracting thousands of roses, to only get about one ounce of essential oil. To allow air to circulate, must not allow the flowers underneath to deteriorate. When the yellowish liquid was quoted down, it did allow the essence to condense here until it finally appeared. Jean intended to use this method to derive a cat's scent, but the result showed that it was just colorless water having no smell. The distance had destroyed his so long proud talent. Jean's eyes rolled back and he lost consciousness. While sprawling in the hospital bed, Jean hopefully asked Giuseppe that if there was any other way to preserve the scent. Well, yes, I believe there is, Giuseppe said in the capital city of Grass there was a secret technique called the Enflourage method. I can help you with a letter of recommendation, but in return, you have to leave me 100 formulas for new perfumes. Completing the wrist trade, he managed to step foot to his dream. In Giuseppe's side, he happily held the formulas in his hands. And died in a sudden earthquake. Jean was like a comet. Whoever wanted to profit from him didn't end well. He was alone, step by step, heading to the so-called dream. Without a guide or map, he relied on his nose for direction. The natural scent of the wild hills left him cheerful. The caves were not affected by the outside world giving him a sense of peace that he had never experienced. Until one day, he awoke from a dream of meeting the almond girl again, he discovered that there was no scent in his clothes. It was scentless and lonely. In his opinion, a perfumer who cannot retain the scent was like a writer who cannot write a masterpiece for the next generations, a worthless passerby. It was also at that time, he made up his mind to go to grass to create his scent that had amazed the world forever. On the way to grass, Jean once again smelled scent like the girls in his dream. This time, it came from Laura, a beautiful girl sitting in a carriage. Jean chased after the scent of Laura and reached the city of grass. This time, he understood. He did not pursue fiercely like a fool anymore. He stood behind the stone steel and just took a soft breath. He knew that as long as he learned the method of enflourage, he can hide these good scents forever. Not long after that, Jean became an apprentice craftsman at a perfume store. During the day, he worked and learned. At night, he researched the secret techniques. He began to work on scent retention. His first subject was Jean. 
Freshly undressed and cleaned, the body was placed in an oil tank. After 12 hours, the essence would be extracted. But what disappointed him was that this method was completely unsuitable for the human body. Jean didn't give up. He used the money to hire a prostitute. He used a new method, using animal fat to apply all over the body to absorb the scent. Seeing the man's freakishness, the girl felt nauseous and shouted at him, You think I am a Christmas goose? Get out of here. With one hit, he knocked down the girl. He continued with the animal fat and wrapped the body for some hours to preserve the fat. After the process, the scented oil had finally been obtained. Even the girl's pet dog could hardly distinguish the real or fake scent. The success of the experiment made Jean extremely excited. Making a perfume that can move humanity was only a matter of time. After this time, all of the young girls of grass became his hunting target. The twins, shepherd girls and wealthy family daughters were constantly missing. Those beautiful girls were all distilled in small bottles. Each liquid gave off a scent. The arising of murder crimes caused people in grass to panic. Girls were forbidden to go out. The police felt helpless because all victims were not raped. The motive was not found. As a local official, Laura's father, Antoine, almost found out the evil motive. Each of his victims had an especial beauty. That it's their beauty itself that he wants. He's trying to gather something. Whatever it is, I fear he won't stop killing until his collection is complete. At this time, unfortunately, people lost their beliefs. They proposed to let the church come to destroy the wicked. Unexpectedly, even the nun also became the victim. Jean had collected 12 fragrances. Now there was only one more to be successful. This 13th scent was extremely important. That was from Laura, the girl who had a pure scent. In the meanwhile, Antoine had a bad feeling. Since the murderer had not been caught, the victims were very young and beautiful, but who could be prettier than his daughter? Antoine guessed right. Even when leaving grass, Laura could not escape the attachment of Jean's sense of smell. No matter how far she went, that special scent in the air still led Jean to find where she was. On a moonless late night, he successfully took the girl's body scent. At the same time, the dog dug from his room the clothes of the murdered prostitute. The culprit of the mass murder was gradually revealed. While the sheriff led his men to arrest Jean, Jean had finished the mixture of all ingredients and crafted 13 fragrances that belonged to himself. Not having time to enjoy that wonderful feeling, Jean was imprisoned. He'd be beaten to death and exposed for three days, to comfort the dead soul. On the day of execution, all grass residents gathered in the plaza, waiting for the moment when the brutal killer got killed. However, when Jean opened the bottle of his masterpiece perfume, the world turned around. With the perfume on, the hangman was on his knees, the crowd went crazy, even the cardinal was shaking and said, this man is innocent. This man is innocent. This is an angel. The handkerchief having the smell of perfume was flying in the air. Everyone was trying to get it. Desires spread in the square. Jean finally realized that what he pursued was not the eternal, but something that had been absent from his life, the simplest and most difficult to obtain, love. At that time, Antoine with the pain of losing her daughter walked over to him to revenge. But as he approached, his legs got heavy. He kneeled on the ground. Because of the perfume, he begged Jean for forgiveness. The perfume had reversed the truth. Jean survived the case. After getting back their consciousness, they felt humiliated and determined to erase that memory. They use another perfumer man to be the killer. After the interrogation, he pleaded guilty to all his crimes. His life ended here, and Jean, on his way back to Paris, if he wanted, he'd get a lot of money and conquer the world. The only one thing the perfume cannot do is that it can't make its owner smell like normal people. His memory brought him back to where he was born. Seeing the people were starving, he poured the whole bottle of perfume on his head. Jean suddenly shone, just like God appeared. The people ran frantically to hug and kiss him and eat every piece of meat on him. After that night, Jean disappeared forever. Satisfying human beings was a happy, spiritual thing. If he was born again, he'd feel that what he was doing was from pure love from the bottom of their heart. After watching the movie, Harry wants to say about how the colors are used and the lenses are adjusted. Of course, the director is very good at controlling the visual in his emotional scenes. Through the movement that entered the viewer's head, the mirror cannot be perceived the smooth way described the senses successfully. The director has expressed a simple but profound theme. The beauty will lose the obsession forever if passion is followed. Chasing for things to lose is the worst to have existed. Along with human nature, the obsession can fade or some things may disappear because of them, that makes it eternal in our hearts. For example, in our youth, there was something called unreachable love. The next movie will definitely be more exciting. Today's movie end here. I am Harry. See you in the next video.